WCDX presents an extra look at the top college prospects from across the valley. This is WCDX Sports Extra, National Signing Day. Hello and welcome to one of the longest days of the year for sports anchors, but it is also the most rewarding and we're talking about National Signing Day. Yeah, for the next 30 minutes, the WZDX sports team will take you on a journey across the Tennessee Valley with high school football signings. All right, so let's just show you what's on tap. As we mentioned, there were a lot of local signees in and around the Tennessee Valley. We'll find out why they chose their respective schools coming up in a few minutes. And on the college side of things, Coach Connell Maynard welcomed his second recruiting class to the Hill tonight. Kayla Carlisle made a run to the shows area and caught up with Coach Chris Willis of UNA. And which schools did some of the state's and nation's biggest recruits choose to sign with? Well, we'll tell you. And we'll have updates on Hoover's George Pickens, Daphne's Christian Williams, and Louisiana's top prospect, Ismael Stopeshire. All right, but we will start locally. Throughout his coach's career, Coach Kelvis White has done a marvelous job of sending guys to college, and this morning he continued that trend. Coach White's lone division one signee was Teron Greenwood. The six foot three athlete is taking his talents down to the capital city of Montgomery to play for Alabama State. Greenwood was an all-city standout who helped lead the Jags to the playoffs this past year. He told us what he liked about the Hornets program. I just really like the uh, environment, how they get everything together, how everybody in film and everything, get everything situated. It's, it's real cool. It's been my dream to play in the pros and everything, so this is a big step for me. Now seven of Greenwood's teammates will play on the next level. Keyshawn Davis and Cortez Richmond, they're going to Cumberland. Darius Donaldson is going to Norwich. Keandre Gregory to West Georgia. And kicker Francisco Marilla, he's staying close to hook up with the Tennessee Valley Prep. Malik Tony, he's going to Hudson Community College. And Justin Richburg way to Wooster. Coach Kelvis White is very proud of all these young men. Look back when we got here, these guys were ninth going to the 10th grade. We never thought this day would come for some of them, but some of them matured worked hard to put themselves in this position, so we're proud of them. And like I say, this is a credit to our coaching staff for giving our guys exposure. Now, this year at Madison Academy was a historic one. Now, for moving up from 4A to 5A, no one really knew what to expect for the Mustangs, but let me tell you, they proved they were ready to roll with the big dogs as they made it to the second round of the playoffs. And today, two of those seniors put the pen to paper. Daniel Brent signed on with UT Chattanooga. Brent was a captain for the Mustangs this year and played both running back and linebacker this past year, but he signed on with the Mocs as a linebacker. He says he feels defense is where he excels. My junior year, I only played defense, and to me, that, that was my best year in high school, and I really excelled that year, and I plan to hopefully carry over that success to UT Chat and uh, to hopefully help that program out as best as I can. Madison Academy's Tex Bailey also put the pen to paper today. Him and Brent are actually pretty good friends. You see them hugging there. Now, Bailey was also a captain as well. The offensive lineman signed on with Eastern Kentucky after attending Madison Academy for 14 years. Here's why Bailey chose to play ball over at EKU. I felt the most at home with the coaches up there. Um, I love the players. I love the atmosphere that they're building up there, and I'm looking forward to it. It's incredible. It's been a long time coming, and it's just I'm blessed to be able to do it. Now, Tex Bailey and Decatur's Jackson Hall will see a lot of each other in the future. Today, the Red Raiders off his alignment, who are in first team All State honors, signing with John Gross and the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. Hall was elected to play in the Alabama Mississippi All Star football game back in December, and he sure is to be a great addition to John Gross and the Gamecocks. Here's why he chose to play with JSU. I just really like the atmosphere there. It feels like family whenever I went there for a visit. And that really solidified my decision on what I was going to do. And I just really like it, it's, it's going to set me up for what I want to do in life. I'm going to major in exercise science and then hopefully just go to PT school and at UAB afterwards. And two other Red Raiders signed their national letter of intense today. Free safety and wide receiver Jacoby Chapman signed with Tennessee Valley Prep. Wide receiver Kenny Williams signed on with Bethel University. Williams will be majoring in business, and Chapman is going to be majoring in athletic training. Down the road at Austin, Reddy Stewart signed on to play with the Troy Trojans. This is a huge get for Chip Lindsey and the Trojans. Last season, Stewart did everything. He had 36 tackles, three pass breakups, and three interceptions. He also played on offense, in which he had 49 carries for 276 yards and seven touchdowns. The Troy signee says that he and coach Chip Lindsey have a special relationship, and he can't wait to play for him this fall. 
Um, Coach Lindsey, I've been knowing him since my 10th grade year when he was at Auburn recruiting me and Asa down here. He's from this area, so every time we talk, we have a lot to talk about. He's just a nice guy, good coach, and um, I know he's going to do big things for the program and just keep um, doing what Troy's been doing for the past couple of years. Stewart wasn't the only one signing. Matter of fact, there were two other football signings, one baseball and one cheerleader. We'll start with football. Outside linebackers J.J. Swope signed with Kentucky Christian, and defense end Jacob Dortch signed with Tennessee Valley Prep. On the baseball side, Colin Porton signed with Calhoun, and cheerleader Hannah Royer signed to cheer with the UAB Blazers. Now, we talked to a lot of these players so far, but what about the college coaches? Charity Chambers joins us now from the X Zone with one of them. Yeah, I was actually out at Alabama A&M today, and all in all, Coach Maynard said he was pretty pleased with this year's signing class. Today, 12 guys signed their letters of intent to join the Bulldogs on the Hill, making it 17 players total for Alabama A&M so far. I think we hit all the spots that we need to hit, the most important spots that we lost from last year. So what holes did Coach Maynard feel his team needed to fill? Well, he broke it all down for us. Uh, we lost both our starting safeties, so we addressed the safeties. We signed five safeties, uh, one in the mid-year, two in the mid-year, and, and uh, three uh, today. Uh, we signed uh, four wide receivers uh, because we lost some wide receivers in the senior class, and then we had a, a tank deal to, to transfer. So we need to address that receiver spot. In addition to the five safeties and four wide receivers, Coach Maynard and his staff added three defensive linemen, three offensive linemen, one linebacker, and one running back. I think uh, this class has everything we're looking for. We're looking for football players. Um, you know, you don't have to be the prototype size football player. You know, we're looking for football players that make plays, that love the game of football. When you love the game of football, you're going to go to class and you're going to take care of your grades because if you don't, you won't be able to play the game of football, you know. So uh, we, want, we want guys that's, that uh, love the game. And those 17 guys have signed the dotted line for the Bulldogs. Coach Maynard says he's still hoping to find a few more. We always want to be, have the best players and have those guys compete. That's what it's about. It's about, it's about competing on the field and competing off the football field, competing in the classroom uh, and competing on the football field, competing in the weight room. So it's all about competing and competition, and, and, uh, and those guys know that. They understand that. Um, so uh, they'll be prepared. They'll be ready to compete. Now the Bulldogs also released their schedule today. There are still a couple of dates on there that are to be announced. But for a look at that schedule, you can head over to our website at rocketcitynow.com. You can also find it on our Twitters at CharityWZDX and at Mo Carter WZDX. You can also find it on my Facebook, Mo Carter WZDX News. We're just getting warmed up here on Sports Extra Signing Day Special. When we return, we're taking a trip out to the Shoals area to check in with schools like R.A. Hubbard, Mars Hill, Florence, UNA, and many others. That's coming up next. I was returning from a visit with my family when my car was completely destroyed by a truck that ran a red light and I needed help. I'm attorney Alexander Chenard, proud to be from Alabama and a man for the people of Alabama. If you need me, call me Alabama. Hi, I'm Susan. Each piece of jewelry you have is special. There's a story behind it and when you need something repaired, you want it back quick. Don't let them tell you they'll have to send it off. We can repair most everything right here, most of the time while you wait. Rings resized, watch bands shortened, and missing stones replaced. We'll repair it right, I promise. Wholesale jewelry, big store. Little prices. On University, just down from the Olive Garden. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Many people on Medicare struggle to pay the high out-of-pocket costs associated with their Medicare benefits. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Paltangi. I encourage patients to research Medicare supplement plans that pay their co-pays, deductibles, and co-insurance for things like outpatient care, care in a skilled nursing facility, and time spent in the hospital. To find out if you're eligible for these benefits, call the Medicare Insurance Plan Helpline today. Call 1-800-323-5456. February 17th on Fox. I'm Janet from Selma, Alabama. I called you, Alexander Shannara, and you helped me. Alexander Shannara got me $100,000. 
I'm attorney Alexander Shinar. If you've been injured in an accident, call me, Alabama. Your home of ESPN Radio is 97.7 The Zone. And now back to the action on WCDX Sports Extra National Signing Day. Welcome back to Sports Extra UNA. Adding 12 more to the roster today, the Lions will be gaining nine high schoolers and three transfers and add those to the 10 they signed during the early signing period. And that gives the Lions 22 new players. After leading the Lions to a 7-3 record in their first season in Division I, head coach Chris Willis is hoping he can build a little more depth on his team as they officially join the Big South Conference this year. Our very own Kayla Carlisle traveled out to Florence today to catch up with the man himself. Let's check in with her now. Hey guys, I'm just hanging out here with the UNA Lions head coach, Chris Willis. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, had a good day and uh, overall good signing class. Now we've had a lot of kids signing around our area, but one in particular, Riley Evans, is signing here at UNA. Talk about him and what he brings to this team. Well, I mean, he's a young guy that plays a skill position of, of need. Uh, we, we needed to get longer in the secondary, our length, and uh, in all positions. but. We need to get a little bit longer in the corner safety position, and he brings both positions. He's a safety that can play corner, so that's a good thing. He's, a, he's almost like a dual position. That's awesome. Now, what's something that this year's signing class um, is different than last year's? Well, the biggest difference is a lot of the guys we brought on campus this year, we probably couldn't have got on campus last year. Um, easily 18, 19 of these guys would not have visited us in the old days of Division II. Probably a little, you know, if you whether or not we want to go through year one of the transition. Now that we're knocking out a year or two, getting closer to postseason, you know, if you come in now in red shirt, you would get two years of postseason. You know, that's still kind of hanging out there. But overall, the biggest difference I see is that the fact that we've got guys in all positions, you know, six. 6'4", 6'5", even 6'6", six, six. we've got some 6'3". Uh, we're just adding a lot more length, and that's something I, you know, some advice I took from other uh, coaches, and I'm using it, so that's what everybody else seems to be doing. And now you guys have a new schedule coming up with only Division I opponents. This is the first time. What was something you were looking forward to um, to help tackle this schedule? Well, the schedule, it's going to be tough. It's, by all means, it's an 11-game schedule. Uh, you know, there's four teams, I think, were playoff caliber teams, and two that went very deep. Um, all our tough ones seem to be on the road this year, but we've got a good nucleus coming back. The quarterback's coming back, and a lot of pieces around him. We, you know, everybody knows about our wide receivers, and so we've got some pieces on defense coming back. And this group coming in will add to the depth that we need. We did save a few spots moving forward, uh, you know, both sides of the ball to maybe add to the O line and D line as we go through the summer. All right, thank you, Coach right, thank you. Mo Charity. Send it back to you. Hey, thanks, Kayla. Let's check out some of the guys in UNA signing class. There were a few from around the state, including one in the backyard. One of those 12 athletes heading to Florida is R.A. Hubbard's Riley Evans. Evans will be adding to the Lions secondary going into next season. He says he's hoping to develop into the best player he can under Coach Willis. We caught up with him today after his signing period, and he told us why UNA will be a good fit for him. Uh, it feels good. I'm just happy to uh, be in a place where there's a family atmosphere. What made me pick UNA was they was just a, like I said, there was a family down there. They wanted me bad and it just made the decision more, more easier. Joining Evans in that defensive backfield will be Kamayan Fegans of Central Phoenix City. Evans was a two-way player on the Red Devils team that won the Class 7A state championship. Now Kamayan says the coaching similarities are what drew him to UNA. I'm from North Alabama, um, my position coach actually made me, reminded me of my position coach I have now, Coach Avery, you know, he's like he real close to his players and you know, that's what I like about my coaching, he make me feel like I'm at home. Off to Mars Hill now for a historic day. This is the first ever football signing day for the Mars Hill Bible guys. And it just wasn't one, but it was two guys putting a pen to the paper. Coach Smith and Joseph Hansen both signed a natural letter of intent to different schools. Hansen will be sticking around to play quarterback at Division II Harding, while Smith will be playing halfback at Jacksonville State. I've always liked playing offense a little better, I guess. Even though the defense is fine, I just kind of would rather have been on the offensive side. Um, after the visit, I was pretty sold on Harding. After I saw the coaches and the facilities and everything, it seemed like a great place to be. Part of me wishes we could have ended up the same place somehow, have a teammate there together, but uh, I love the coaches there. And you can't just base the decision off of coaches because coaches change, but uh, just the campus and everything, it just it felt right. So. 
huge congrats to those guys over at Mars Hill. Now, there's still a lot more to come here on the National Signing Day Special. And I got to say, wait until you see how many guys signed their National Letter of Intent at Florence High School. The number is amazing. That's coming up next. They never get back what their auto accident took away. There was no end in sight. I needed help. I'm attorney Alexander Shannon, proud to be from Alabama and a man for the people of Alabama. If you need me, call me Alabama. When you're ordering your groceries, consider the source. Only Kroger can bring you all the fresh, delicious food and quality products you already know and love. So check out while you're chilling. Shop online today. Saturday, February 9th is Lego Night with the Huntsville Havoc. Meet Lego characters and enjoy $1 pizza slices courtesy of Domino's Pizza. Get your tickets now at the VBC box office or at Ticketmaster.com. I'm Denise from Centerpoint, Alabama, and I called you Alexander Shannara, and you helped me. Alexander Shannara got me $325,000. I'm attorney Alexander Shannara. If you've been injured in an accident, call me Alabama. Visit RocketCityNow.com to purchase the 2019 Valley Golf Tour card today. And now, back to the action on WZDX Sports Extra National Signing Day. The Sports Extra National Signing Day special continues right here on WZDX. Up next is Florence High School, and we'll need to count on our fingers and toes. You guys can't see our toes, but no, we'll, need, we'll need both of them for the amount of guys they had signing today. But, Mo, is it okay if we leave them on a bit of a cliffhanger first? Can we do that? Absolutely. Okay. So, one of those signings was wide receiver Kadarius Thompson. The senior wideout chose to further his career in the Sun Belt Conference at Georgia State. The six foot three receiver saw offers from other schools like South Alabama, Tulane, and Troy. But Thompson says the one thing that really turned his head was how well he was treated as a Panther. They fed me till I couldn't eat no more. I'm excited. It's a one in a lifetime feeling. I wasn't really like over over excited. I knew it was a time would come like this any a day when you work hard and I've been working my tail off, so I knew it was gonna come. Well they do say a key to a man's heart is through his stomach. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. So all right, now how about his other teammates? Eleven additional teammates what? of Thompson <laughs> signed alongside him today. Kyron Freeman and Jonathan Turman. Turner, they're going to the New, Mil New Mexico Military Institute. Kamarian Lewis, Jalen Morris, Trinace Rose, Nicholas Waller, and Tyree Siner, all heading to the University of Cumberland. Cumberland's getting a lot of people from this area. Yes. Jalen Lee, he'll be a mock at Chattanooga. Jordan Haley, he's going to Birmingham Prep. Isaiah Nelson, he's heading to Benedictine. And after that, um, of course, certainly, but last but not least, Amari Young, he'll be playing down at Faulkner. The head coach, very proud of all these guys. Uh, you know, we tell the guys all the time that they're making a 40-year decision, not a four-year decision, that that degree is going to mean more to them than their time playing football. Uh, and so we're just excited they get that chance and uh, excited to see where they go. Twelve guys sign up for us. That's, that's amazing. And look, that's, that's a great dozen. Yes. Let's head to the Alabama Gulf Coast now. Christian Williams of Daphne High School had a final four of Alabama, Miami, Texas A&M, and LSU. But experts figured that it was going to be a battle between Bama and Texas A&M. The four-star DB was a Bama commit at one point. He shocked the world today, chose the University of Miami the instead. U. Afterwards, Williams explained his decision. I just fell in love there, you know, with the coaches, uh, with the players, the scheme, just everything about it, just a perfect fit for me. You know, I've always loved football as a little kid. My dad played football for Arkansas State, 
So, you know, I always like watch this film and all my older cousins play football. So it's like, I want to be just like them. Despite losing out on Christian Williams, Nick Saban had one final trick up his sleeve. Down in my home state of Louisiana, Ishmael Stopshire, the five-star defense alignment, decided to sign with Alabama. His decision was aired live on ESPN. He chose to tie it over LSU and Oregon. He's trying to get that hat on, and eventually he did. Really, it was just uh, what Nick Saban is building up there and uh, what he's been doing for years. You know, he told me, you know, he could uh, bring me in, you know, and um, he could uh, get my reach in and get my full potential out of me, and, you know, just make me 100% a better person and a great, uh, better player. Jared, you ready for another shocker? Oh, yeah. Hoover's George Pickens had been an Auburn commit for a very long time, but today that all changed. He decided to decommit from the Tigers and choose to sign with the Georgia Bulldogs. Wow. The decision was hard for Pickens, especially since he felt that he and Bo Nix, the Alabama Player of the Year, could have had a special connection down on the plains. I know it wasn't an easy decision at all. It's probably the hardest decision I'd ever make in my life. Uh, it was very hard knowing that, like, through this whole football thing, plan. My whole senior year, I've been playing with Bo Nix the whole time, basically. So it's been kind of hard knowing that he goes to Auburn and then I'm going to Georgia and knowing that me and him still don't have the connection. So it's been kind of hard. All right, everyone, let's take a look at some of these rankings. Actually, we're going to go ahead and hit. Well, there's the rankings. All right, here's the 247 rankings. Alabama once again coming in at number one, Georgia two. I guarantee you that Pickens pickup was probably the thing that got oh, yeah. them to second. Texas checking in at number three, your Ooh. alma mater, Texas A&M, <laughs> checking in at number four. Oh, yeah. LSU comes in at number five. I guarantee you if they would have got that defensive alignment we just saw, they would have probably shot up to like one or two. You can have the rest of them, uh, Charity. Number six is Oklahoma, seven Oregon, eight Michigan. Nine Florida and ten Clemson. Auburn not in there. I feel like a lot of a lot of fans are really hoping to see the Knicks to Pickens connection, and now they will see it. Absolutely, I think Auburn was in the top ten, but once they lost Pickens, they fell out of the top ten. Some people have them as high as fifteen. I've seen other people have them like at eighteen or nineteen. Gotcha. All right. Well, coming up after the break, we're bringing you back right here to the Tennessee Valley to wrap up the show. We have Athens, Sparkman. Muscle Shoals, Bob Jones, and a few others. Believe it or not, they all had signings today. We're showing you all of that when we come back. Big settlements and big results. That's what a marquee. WKFirm.com. Attention, victims of mesothelioma or their loved ones may be entitled to receive compensation from the Asbestos Trust Funds. During the past four decades, $18 billion has been awarded to individuals with qualifying injuries. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, call Jacoby and Myers now. Even if a loved one has passed due to mesothelioma, you may be entitled to a cash award. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer caused by exposure to asbestos. Many victims were in the Navy shipyards or power plants. Some worked in the construction, plumbing, insulation, or automotive trades. Many more were exposed in or around their homes. You are not alone. At the law offices of Jacoby and Myers, we've been bringing compassion and experience to our clients for over 40 years. Experience matters when you're looking for legal representation. Call the law offices of Jacoby and Myers now. Please call 800-643-9751. That is 800-643-9751. Sheldon needs some liquid courage. Here, see if this one works. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? To get to the same side. Buzzinga! Next, Big Bang. Tomorrow at 6 on WZDX. This is the world's biggest cooking competition on March 5th. We're just kids! Let's roll! 24 pint-sized home chefs. This is the best cake I've ever made in my life. Because I only made one. We'll prove big things. Where are these ideas coming from? You're only eight. You jelly my mind. <laughs> Come in little packages. Are you all ready to get messy? <laughs> Master Chef Junior returns March 5th on WZDX. I'm attorney Alexander Chenard. If you've been injured in an accident, call me Alabama. Mike and Molly, weeknights at 5 on WZDX. And now, back to the action on WZDX Sports Extra, National Signing Day. 
Welcome back. It's been a pretty long day for us, but I feel like the show went by kind of fast. And it went by like that. Did it? It's the final stretch of our show. Absolutely. <laughs> Believe it or not, we still have a handful of signings still left <laughs> yeah. to show you guys. First, let's take you over to Athens High School, where we have an SEC pickup. Athens High standout Ethan Rinky committing to Tennessee as the preferred walk-on. He played defensive end for Athens and was an all-region honoree. Rinky says the decision to play for the Vols was a long process. Coach and me had a few meetings here and there, and we would talk and scratch off schools I'm talking with and all that, that I didn't want to go to. I really like the coaches. I like talking with all of them, and, and uh, I like the campus. And, and let's take it to Harvest now, where three Sparkman High School seniors celebrated their signing day. Kerryon Cody signed his letter of intent to the University of the Cumberlands in Kentucky. Like you mentioned, but we've been hearing a lot about this. A lot of the Cumberlands. Yeah. Zeb Sanders, he's heading to Centra College. And Del Pettis signed his letter of intent to Troy University. Pettis says he's looking forward to playing with to playing with Reddy Stewart of Austin High School, who also signed with Troy. I played against him this season, and he was a great athlete. I can't wait to be on the field together and get some picks with him. But we we're in a group chat together, and he's a good guy. I'm ready to play with him. I'm, I'm just happy right now, like having everybody support out here, and knowing that like I have people who love me. It's a great feeling to know that you have your community behind you. Now the Trojans of Muscle Shoals had six foot five, two hundred and forty pound tight end Tanner Wade sign his letter of intent today. Wade has decided to take his talents to Lindsey Wilson College in Columbia, Kentucky. Tanner says he is looking forward to playing at the next level where he will study biology. My uh, decision led to uh, Lindsey Wilson because, you know, I went on my first visit and from then on they always showed interest. Um, I got hurt, broke my collarbone, you know, they still never dropped interest. And uh, that's really what led me to my decision, just because they made me feel wanted. Now, Riley Evans wasn't the only guy signing at R.A. Hubbard this morning. Malik Bynum, Desmond Fennell, and Jamel Robinson all signed a national level of intent to play, guess where, Charity? Where? University of the <laughs> oh Cumberland. Oh, my goodness. The three guys say they're excited to have their chance to play on the next level. I'm very blessed to be signing, and, and you know, I prayed about it or whatever. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just happy. We all thought about it together, and since we was all going, we said it'd be great just to, to even be teammates in college, so we just choose to cover them. It's like, ain't nothing changed. Like, we graduated together, we played this season together, last season together, the season before that, so nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. All right, let's go to Bob Jones now. Offensive lineman Artavius Allen signed with the Tigers of West Alabama today. Allen has seen significant time on Kevin Rose's teams through his years at Bob Jones. He says he's going to miss his Patriot family, but he's ready to start a new life in Livingston, Alabama. I liked how that there was such a brotherhood and how everyone was all together and there was nothing different about each player. But, yeah. All right, now Allen will team up with Grissom offensive lineman Jeff Campbell. Campbell also signed a letter of intent with West Alabama today. Four years ago, Campbell could have never imagined that he would be signing a scholarship to play college football. It's huge because I've been working so hard, and our, this whole team's been working hard. It's a great accomplishment. Five people. It's a lot since last year, and we're going to keep on going up. And Campbell was joined by three other teammates today. Ty Logo and Mel Dansler are going to Dodge City Community College, and Patrick Boykin is heading to Missouri Baptist. After the ceremony, we caught up with a very happy Chip English. One signed with the early signing, but having four guys today, this is a very, real special group. These, this, uh, this senior class was uh, f really fun to work with. They worked extremely hard, and uh, it shows their hard work showing off in four of them signing today. And over at James Clemens, two football players put the pen to paper today. One's a long snapper and one's a punter. We don't usually hear too much about these position sightings. They're Special less. teams count. It really does. It matters. Punter Drew Blackwell signed on with Birmingham Southern. He averaged 38.6 yards per punt this year with a long of 56. He plans on pursuing orthodontics and long snapper Cameron Stevens will be taking his talents to Faulkner University where he plans on majoring in computer science. My parents were a major, played a major role in getting me the scholarship. Um, they, they contacted the admissions counselors there. They, um, they got it worked out. I sent my films to the athletic director, and then the coaches watched it, and they really liked how I played and gave me a really big, a really nice offer I couldn't turn down. Honestly, looking back my freshman year, I never thought I'd be in these shoes. Their coaching staff was just amazing. It's a great campus. It's a little small, but I still fell in love with it when I got down there.
And last but not least, let's over to head over to East Limestone where we see three Indians signing their letters of intent. Jeremiah Thomas and Ashton Lockett both signing with, with, with who? The Cumberlands. Are yes. you kidding me? <laughs> and Lucas Terry signing his letter with LaGrange College out of Georgia. Head coach Jeff Pugh called the guys true leads and said he couldn't be more proud. They're all good, hard workers. They were leaders. They were part of our seniors this year that uh, that led this team to the second round playoff in the playoffs. And, you know, they, they've never been any trouble to me. And all these guys right here have been uh, great ambassadors for our school. They're good kids. And uh, I'm, I'm just proud of them to be able to further their education through football. Well, I wasn't keeping tally, but I think the Cumberlands may have won the Tennessee yeah, Valley the area. The came down to Tennessee Valley and did racked they? up some good athletes. They really today. did. They really did. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the Cumberlands in the upcoming years. For sure. I mean, does I feel like it was dozens of athletes that signed on with them. Absolutely. Them, absolutely. Jacksonville State, you have some everywhere. You and some local talent yeah. here in Tennessee Valley, and it's continued to flow each and every year. For sure. I love it. Absolutely. So I guess we'll do this again next year. Of course we will. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here on the National Signing Day special for the entire team. We want you guys to have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching WCDX Sports Extra. Furniture provided by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably.